Hello and welcome. This is the Geek. And this is our latest video upload. Again in regards to Kodachi Linux 2.8. We are bringing you the pros and cons. Of this particular system. Here is our conking with all our information, our protection, etc. We're up at 82 out of 100. Up to 82 out of 100. We have Tor, we have VPN, Mac spoof, DNS, uh, protector, etc. Great system, but it does have its problems. Like when you go to the internet you use one of these browsers I can give you an example if it comes up okay most of these add-ons are already there there are some that we didn't really need so we got rid of them so having VPN and Tor in operation as protection let's say we're going to go to a local website to pay the power bill right? or the internet so we're going to go to powershop dot go dot nz for example may have a problem getting us there it may not taking its time to get us there okay there's no problem there for some reason but usually it comes up a capture c-a-p-t-c-h-a and it might show you a or an image of buses or motorcycles you try to solve that capture and verify it you click on the image and it keeps popping up more images and popping up more images and you can't get past it there is a free let's go to manage extensions there is a free add-on but we found it useless because you had to download it and pay for it possibly pay a fee uh, called Buster Capture Solver for Humans Yeah, save time by asking Buster to solve captures for you you got to download the application and then there might be something you have to pay pay towards it or pay for it right so we didn't bother with that we had all ad nauseum free well we've used that before and it was a, apparently a potential uh, unwanted application malware gatherer right so we quit that we didn't really need this because you can do it within Firefox if you just want HTTPS okay you want to encrypt your web automatically use this security on many sites you can do it within uh, Firefox itself IP location lookup we disabled it because we didn't really need it we don't need to look for our IP when it tells us in the conky on a desktop exactly what it is this yeah this is some sort of Bitcoin wallet type thing peer name didn't really need that proxy switch didn't need that either so there's a lot here that we didn't need so that's the problem with that we um, got a message saying oh something to do with it was either cloud fear or something like that and, and it says oh we've been blocked because we typed in the wrong word or something but how the hell could we have typed in the wrong word when it's there right 
it just picked up on something but that's because we had on our desktop we had the VPN and Tor running okay so it caused problems so we, when we shut it down our uh, security status dropped okay we're at 92 at the moment that's really good 92 out of 100 there's the evidence there um, when we shut down the VPN and the tour and went back to that particular website it came up right there right so that's a problem there the pros and the cons of that of this particular system okay but we've done something here and it's gone up to 92 which is great we'll strive for 98 not too sure if we get 100 but we're working on it okay everything else is fine you just won't have that problem try to get to YouTube or something like that because you've got the VPN the DNS or the protection on right Tor etc because you've used the Tor browser and it's all activated okay you have very uh, various browsers that you can use You've got Kadachi Light, Kadachi Loaded for those add ons that we showed you, Kadachi G Hacks Browser with Tor, uh, Browser with Proxy Chains and Tor, just ordinary Tor Browser, Sphere Tor Browser, we haven't used that one yet, and Firefox Unsafe, so it doesn't run or have Tor in the background. Uh, you can edit G Hacks configuration and the Proxy Chains proxy change configuration these two here we don't really know what we're doing so we don't mess with it you might be a professional geeky geek that knows how to do all that sort of stuff we don't want to mess with it okay so here's your dashboard for setting uh, your Mac spoof your machine machine address uh, whatever that means Mac uh, your MAC address, your DNS, uh, your IP, you can uh, activate Tor, etc, etc. There's your browsers, security apps, like in, it's got uh, Bleachbit, the cleaner system, Stacer, the cleaner system, etc, etc. Security services, if you ever need those. Other applications, here you only got simple screen and focus screen to record videos. There's no OBS or anything like that on there. Your root terminal, MPV media player, there's no VLC, you have to download it from the apt system and so forth. 